Morning, miners. This is Pack Rat again. I thought I'd start off this episode with a little bit of TNT action. Um, it seems the Jims is kind of getting sick of that uh, big ball over the top of his house. So he asked me to come along and help him take care of it. So we, we lined it with TNT. I, I came up with a good arrangement for that. And um, I'm, we're currently on top of the tower that's about to get, get blown to smithereens. Uh, if you can't, can't tell by it right now, I'm actually doing this as a post-recording audio, by the way, so I have no idea what's actually being said on the screen. Um, what, I, what I can tell you right, right now is um, the, the Jim's he got some new armor, and he's been playing with it like crazy at this moment. So he's going to go ahead and light the TNT and jump off the top of the building. Now, keep in mind, if you've ever seen the town, uh, that, that isn't exactly low to the ground, so... He, um, well, he's insane. He's just doing Gudesque stuff with his armor when I don't think his armor is quite as strong as that. Uh, he actually died later on a couple of times from trying to jump from the top of his house at that ledge that you could see in, in the bottom it to, down to bedrock, which is just, well, as an interesting thing to do. So, um... I did line it pretty good on the inside. I, I think I got a good setup for it. Uh, oh, and and um, sorry about the audio cut right there. The background is gone because IRC was beeping like crazy. I actually had to go away for a minute to take care of that. You guys talk way too much on there. But anyways, um, I just thought I'd back up and see if I can get a good shot while he does something completely insane. I believe I'm telling him right now, you can see it, I can't read it on my preview screen. I believe I'm telling him that a night explosion would be acceptable. We're, we were going to wait till day. Um, he decided not to wait till day. There we go. There he goes. He just jumped off the top. Yeah, there you go. It was a perfect explosion, too. Um, the TNT blowed up every single block around it that, we, that was actually intended to be blown up. It, you'd think that I'm getting good at this by now. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, we'll be continuing the episode with um, something else in a minute. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, the, what we're going to be doing with the rest of this episode, I'm actually going to be doing a couple different things. Um, first, this is a, this is a loose ends episode right here for for uh, the Etho present. Um, evidently, I've discovered through uh, reading other stuff that Etho is not really a fan of Christmas, so he w I don't think he ever intended to actually pick up his present. Now you can't exactly have a gift and that you give to somebody and just not give it to them. That doesn't really work. The stuff is already given. We can't really do a whole lot else with it, so, well, we're going to go ahead and give it to him. Uh, I've seen in his videos, this is the same way a lot of you have, where his location is. So, I went ahead and looked it up in the video, found his place, and um, we're going to deliver it. Now, I'm not going to deliver as a Christmas gift, because I'm not that big of a jerk. Um... I'm going to deliver it as a Valentine's Day gift, for lack of a better excuse to give him a random gift. <clears throat> now, I don't enti entirely agree with his method of dealing with a with a gift. I, I mean, it, when I look at it this way, if you're if you're, I, I also am not too worried about him hearing this, since um I don't think he watches anything that I do, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, if somebody. Uh, doesn't really well. Let's say worship Christmas or worship anything. Uh, let, let's let's look at it from the time time from the point of view where I'm talking to people on IRC. When I'm on IRC and, and it's the morning, I say good morning, and other people say good evening. Well, that's because to me it's morning, and to other people it's not. I mean, it's, it doesn't really matter. You respond to it how you respond to it in your particular area, how you respond to it in your particular way. You don't reject it and say it's not morning here and it's not going to work. Um, so I, it's the same thing to me with a gift. I mean, it, if you, if I say Merry Christmas and you say Happy Hanukkah, whatever, 
Um, that's, that's your deal. I'm not going to give you a Christmas gift and you say, no, well, no, thank you. I, I mean, I just got you a gift. So uh, this, at this point, I did I, I, I cut out like, an, like a half an hour of video here trying to find his place, but I did find it. Um, it actually wasn't that hard. And um, believe it or not, uh, funny fact, uh, the closest portal to his place is actually uh, my valley trap. So I actually live close. I'm actually the closest person to person to him. Um, so, he, but this is his house, and that's a little bit of damage I just took. Uh, well, we're not gonna actually do a tour of his house because I don't know what he wants to reveal in his video and what he doesn't. So don't expect that in this video. I'm actually gonna. The most you see is what you see right here. I'm not gonna. I, I and I never looked around the house either. Um, I I didn't even tour it myself, so I don't know what's coming. Okay, at this point, we're just going to go ahead and flatten an area to put down this heart. I just picked a spot that looks like it, it's a little bit off to the side, but it's going to be nice and obvious for him to see. So, I, I hope he doesn't didn't actually have any plans for this particular spot, because I had to dig out a little bit. And in, in order to make room for the heart, I need to have some flat surface to work with. You can tell my inventory is very full, because I can't pick up anything either. Kind of annoying. Now, I haven't really built many hearts on, well, anything. So this actually took me a few tries to get right. Well, not a few tries. It only took a couple tries. Th that one just looks kind of misshapen and strange. So I had to go ahead and move around a few blocks here. I mean, I, I'm not the, the huge creative type, so I don't do this type of thing too often. But is, I'm, I'm also, I've also been playing Minecraft long enough to know that what, what a blocky heart should look like. So we're just going to... Just a little bit of a shift here. Oh, a little bit of a different shift here. Okay, there we go. And there's the beginning of our heart. Now, what I didn't really plan is what I was going to do for the top of the heart. See, I had enough red to, to do the outside of the heart, but I forgot. Um, this is a box. And you can't have a box without a bottom. Or without a top. Yeah, not, we can't have without a bottom either, but um, the floor works fine for that. It's not visible. So, I'm kind of screwed here. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking at my inventory for what on earth I'm going to do for the top. I don't have enough red dye unless I find a, a sheep or something like that in his place to dye and get enough wool. Which would take forever because then I'd have to wait for the sheep to regrow the wool and yada yada. I'm not going to do that. So, uh, I had to think about it for a minute. And I had to think about it for a minute. And I had a very fortunate decision. This actually ended up looking extremely good, and I, it's funny how this works in a lot of stuff in Minecraft. When you when you make a mistake, your mistake ends up on there's a bit of thunder that just annoyed the annoyed me in the middle of the recording. Um, a lot of the times, the, this stuff is really fortunate coincidence where you you ended up making something look a lot better by complete accident. That's me trying to dirt my way up, not realizing that I'd have to leave the wool behind. Brilliant. That's better. Okay, so um, also by the way, I'm glad that I, that my audio actually messed up in this episode because my commentary was horrible. Uh, at this point, you're gonna, you're gonna get to see what the actual gift is, whether or not he ever opens it or not. Uh, we uh, Vintage Beef did donate a bunch of ice blocks for him, which I thought that was really nice. And uh, we got him some other um, some redstone blocks that can be used for stuff. And uh, y your mom. Uh, if you've seen his episodes, he loves calling all all the the hoes uh, your mom. So we had to give him. I, I had to make him a diamond hoe. I wanted to enchant it, but an, an enchanted diamond mom would be hilarious. Unfortunately, you can't enchant hoes. <laughs> that still sounds horrible. So that, I had to include that as the as the centerpiece. Um, took me a minute to figure out what I was going to say. I'll just let this be read off from what you're seeing on the screen. Basically saying happy something. And a little bit of extra at the end. Yeah. Yeah, that was required. Okay, that's basically it for the heart. After that, all, I, all I'm going to be doing is looking around a little bit. Now, uh, like I said, getting here was not that difficult. I actually found it pretty easily. So um, now I'm just going to head out and 
I'll meet meet you guys in a little bit when I'm when I'm at at uh, the Goodland because I got something else to show you. Okay, so here's what we're going to show you. First of all, I'm going to show you what we're going to end the video with, which is a strange way of starting a vid, right? Well, not a start, but you know what I mean. To start the part where, anyways, this is what's left over from a massive explosion that I made. I actually used 64 TNT for this one. Um, I haven't obviously cleared out all the stuff. Uh, I cleared out all the sandstone and all the sand because that's always the first step that I take. Because if I ever wanted to use TNT, it would be kind of a waste to use it on that. I like to use TNT to clear out stone on just stone. Um, and uh, maybe some dirt because uh, that stuff is worthless to me. I don't use it for anything. The sand, of course, is. And the good thing is, is this is where it ends. I had actually made it all the way to the fire, to the, um, ah, man, this is, I can't even call this a firing range anymore, um, to the, to the cannon range. So this is going to be the, my next project. And I'm saying it's my next project because I actually finished the one I was working on. You guys know which one that is, right? We were working on it in the last video. Ow. So let's head on over here. Yeah, let's fall in random holes. So glad there's a sprint function now because this would take forever otherwise. Yep, I finished the firing range. Well, finished for the most part. I'm actually thinking about doing a little bit of decoration here, but I can still give you guys a quick tour of what I got going on here. And then I can show you a quick, uh, a quick firing because it's ready to go entirely. Um, first of all, something that I learned. Um, Evidently, if a zombie is in the water, they could jump up a one and a half block height. Because I originally intended to have this where it was um, a block here, and then a half block right over the top of that, so that they could. So they were. Just, it was just one and a half blocks tall because uh, we can't jump that high. Neither can zombies. Well, evidently they can if there's water underneath them, which is very unfortunate, because it meant that I built this whole thing once. And then I had to rebuild it again. Yeah, so this is Mark Two. Well, actually, Mark Three if you count the the tester one. Um, but we can give you a quick tour of it. Um, it does split up into two directions right here, and these are actually kind of cool. I really like this design right here. This is actually uh, half slabs right here, a blank spot, and half slabs right there. So that's actually one and a half blocks tall. They can't make it through there, and I could do that all the way across, but it would be kind of ridiculous. Plus, it would, on ones like um right here it would make it so that you can only hit hit the zombies in the their bodies not in their in their heads which is it, it's kind of cool having it switch up over and over again now let's go ahead and give you a quick tour of what's going on here um i'm just going to hold jump and let it well actually i'm going to eat it actually makes more sense i'm going to hold jump i'm going to eat and basically that's it um the only different problem is is right here if the zombies don't move they'll just bounce around like this but if the zombies have another one come up behind them, they get pushed in one direction or the other. Um, this is the one, this is the first direction. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna sleep in a minute because this is actually easier for you guys. Uh, you can see which way it's going. Um, zombies can't jump out anywhere. Plus, their heads do bob up now and again. It's uh, pretty good, and it does go under uh, portion right here. You'll you'll find out what that split is in a minute. And this is still one of those things that they that it's a one and a half block high. They can't see over that. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get out here. I just want to go ahead and sleep for him. Plus, it's going to help us too. One sec. And prepare for another IRC beep because I did not disable that, as you guys heard earlier. gonna help us out too by doing this so that's fine with me there we go okay so that's the one direction now that's not the cool direction there's a reason why I showed you that one first uh, you notice that we went under something what we went under is the other lane see one of the good things about me having to rebuild this thing is that usually when I have to rebuild something I thought of something to make it better so this is lane two Lane 2 actually goes up and goes over lane 1. And then it fuses with lane lane 1 at, uh, after it goes up and over. So let's go ahead and back down in here. Continue the jumping, except this time we're going to go right. 
And you can see, I've tested this. There is no place where the zombies can jump out. Maybe, maybe right there, but I'm heavily doubting it. And even if they did, they would probably still jump right back down again. Uh, there's a lot of areas behind this where you, they can't be shot, but that's okay because once it gets up here, there's lots of them. Um, this is a pretty good firing spot right here. It goes right up and over the other one. Oh. Okay, well, that's an interesting little dilemma. It, it actually stopped it there for a second, but that's okay. I, it, it, I think it, they'll be pushed through. Then it drops down here, and I'm still holding jump. Go right under, and I'm back in lane one again. I can go through here. I'm just going to stop holding jump because it's, it's useless right now. Um, I am going to plug that hole back up, though, because we're going to go out at the end. Uh, once it gets to the end, which is, I think it's, is it here? No, it's not here. It does go back and forth for a while, allowing allowing you to shoot from up there, because this is a pretty good spot to see them from. And once it gets to the end, all it does is it drops right back down into the line. That's the line right there. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it out of here. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, there's more than one way. There we go. We'll go ahead and break that up. Just waste a block. And now I guess I could show you guys it in action, which is, I, I, I like it. it. It works quite well. This is, of course, the tower that we built last time. Um, the spawner is still right underneath it. You'll hear them in a second. I do need a few arrows. I did bring some from my, from my place. Anytime, guys. Anytime. Hmm. There we go. That actually took a ridiculously long time. Huh. I'm wondering. Nah, I don't think he's an experienced grinder. That, that sh shouldn't even affect it. Grinders shouldn't even affect this at all. Okay, but you will actually will be able to see them glitching out here, too. Let me just do a little bit here. That's the line that we built last time. Uh, it still goes straight down here. All the way down there. And you can probably still see them glitching a little bit. Uh, of course, now you can't see them at all. But in a second, they're going to pop up right over there. And because of the way that I have the half slab set up at the end, you can actually see them come up. Yep, see? There they go. Coming straight down the line. Now they're probably going to get stuck up there for a second. That's okay. Yep, see the one got stuck. And you see that when they when they jump up high, it does um, burn them a little bit, but that's okay. Now some go that way. Just wait, waiting for some more to get pushed. Why are they all going that direction? Well, that's okay. They they do pick both directions at, at random. Yeah, see, there goes another one. And anywhere on it, you can pretty much take pot shots at them. Now, of course, this is SMP, so of course they are glitched out. Which is very annoying. And by the way, this is the only part where you can actually see them coming towards you, uh, with the exception of little lines right here. I try to make it so most of the time when they're coming um, towards you in a straight line, it's uh, not that visible. And I might actually block up some of them a little bit so it's more difficult to see. I'd rather it be more like uh, the ducks going left and right and right and left and something like that. Than, and of course now I'm getting lag spikes. I'd rather be like the ducks going left and right and all that stuff than... Um, uh, having targets coming towards you, because that's just too easy. We don't need that. Well, I don't know why we're lagged right now. Evidently, the server's been getting lagged lately. I don't know why. I don't think it's this, I can tell you that much. Um, I mean, it does get a lot of zombies running through it, but not enough to really lag anything, so I don't know what's going on with that. It's just odd. But, anyways... And, of course, the entire way. We can go ahead and just take pot shots at them. It's kind of fun. It's the point. Missing is part of the fun, obviously, because um, they just keep going. It's just really fun. And it, when you hit them, too, a, a lot of times, you know how, how the mechanics work in this game. They sometimes will change their um, their AI a little bit once they're hit. Like uh, if they got paused on top of a block, they'll then start walking towards you. Stuff like that. Oh, I actually killed one. The only thing that I think I might have done stupid, uh, two things. Uh, first of all, you can't actually see the individual lanes right now. 
that's kind of unfortunate because it doesn't look like they're com coming in two directions at the same time. And what I might do is I might um, make it so that one of the lanes has brick behind it so you can actually see that there's like a red lane and there's a blue lane. So maybe one lane is going to be the brick and the other lane is going to be, I don't know, I, I might do lapis or I just might stick with stone. One of the two, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the other thing is, I think it might be a little bit on the long side. Because you're seeing how long it... <sighs> Jerk. He would. <laughs> Even though all you guys basically come from him anyways. But anyway. Okay, so, but outside of the fact that it's just long, I think that it's otherwise a pretty good design. So, uh, let me know what you guys think, if you see anything that could be improved upon that I probably won't do anyway. Yeah, I did, wasn't actually talking because I didn't want it to beep on IRC. I forgot that he actually said my name. Oh, well. Uh, the only other thing that I have to do with, do with this thing, and um, I haven't decided exactly how I want to do it yet, is i got to be able to turn it off. Right now, all I can do to turn it off is I can go over here and I, I make sure I can this thing I did right now. The only thing I can do right now is I can turn off the zombie flow. So I can hit this switch, by the way, see I had to basically cover it as much as I could because it kept on getting flooded and pulling off the redstone. But if I hit this, there's a piston that's around uh, here that they'll it'll cut off where the zombies can come up again. That's all it really does. But I actually want to be able to... Yeah, we are going to be doing that. That is going to be fun. Uh, which reminds me, uh, now that we're at the end of the episode, uh, the last bit, bit of the episode is going to be a very large explosion. You're going to like that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's not going to be a very well shown explosion. Because I didn't want... I, I was going to make it as one big redstone explosion. The only problem is that would have taken um, six stacks of redstone to line. I did the math, I did the figuring, and I couldn't figure out a better way of doing it, so I said, forget that. And I invited Pause to come over and watch. Well, at any rate, let's just go ahead and uh, move on to that. Uh, we're, get, we're good right here for right now. Be right back. Okay, so here we are at the site of the explosion. I did bring Paws and Paws with me. I wanted him to be able to see the explosion as I'm lighting everything off. I mean, as you can see, it's it's a lot of TNT. And like, like I said, I wasn't going to set that off with redstone. That was going to take too long. And I have no idea what Paws is doing here. Honestly. This was confusing the crud out of me. And I told him. I told him I'm videotaping him doing that, and I don't know why. He's as confused as I am, which is even stranger. I'm wondering if this is, like, um, something where I'm seeing something that he isn't or what. It's just really odd. Um, excuse another IRC bleep there. Um, I was just talking in the game a little bit ago, so it's saying something. But I wanted him to just step back and watch, watch the fireworks while I set him off. Unfortunately, his recording glitched. So, he, and there he goes again. And you can, if you listen carefully, you can hear me laughing in my low, low volume track. I really don't, he keeps walking around and walking into the, it, it's just strange. I don't know what he was thinking. I'd like to hear what he was doing. I really got to ask him about that. But anyways, all, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just light these up. And he's going to do it again, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I really have no clue. I mean, he's on video. and He even lost his pants. It's, yeah, there you go. He's lost his pants. He's just walking around with a chest plate now. For It's just confusing. So, all right. Anyways. So, I'm just going to go through, and I'm going to light off all the TNT... And I, I'm sorry you guys aren't going to be able to see his view, because his view, I'm sure, his view is awesome. But um, his glitched, and I think it might have glitched for the same reason that mine glitched. See, the explosion, you'll see uh, after like a uh, fifth or sixth thing that I light, um, that I stop for a second, that was my audacity, my video recording, just suddenly freaking out and stopping. 
And that's what happened to my audio file for this whole thing. That's why I'm recording it all in post-op. Because I think this ex explosion made my computer um, lose track of what it was doing or something. And Audacity just kind of crashed. I had to stop the blowing, exploding of things just so I can get rid of the crash window. But without further ado, 64 TNT being lit. So that's basically it. Um, it's the last time I try a night explosion because, as you can see, I am now running from a zombie. I think pause actually kills that one for me. Yeah, because I, I just wasn't paying any attention at all. And I'm just gonna go up and try and get up there and light some more. But um, well, that was the last thing that I lit that went off, and the sound is my imminent death. So that's it, guys. I've done what I came here to do. Um, you saw a good explosion at the end of the episode. You guys have a good one. <laughs>